Hi, welcome to Pink Bull. Today we are going to see the summary of Aunt Jennifer's Tigers, which is written by Adrian Rich. So here, what this poem is about is it addresses the constraint of married life a woman experiences. So here, a few words which we have to know about based on this poem is it's a male dominant society. Okay, what we call it as a patriarchal society where we could able to find uh, men dominating women and here it is not only that men are dominating women were trained to be docile the meaning of docile is they were taught how to be submissive okay from their childhood they were taught to be suppressed by or accepting the suppression from father then their brother naturally from their husband after getting married so it is not only that men are dominant enough women were thought to be docile enough thought to be submissive enough and here this poem gives about Aunt Jennifer who creates a tiger and here the tiger seems to be unafraid. It is just a controversial idea of what she is right now. She seems to be afraid of her husband and that's why she is creating a tiger which is not afraid of men. Yes, come, let's go and see what Aunt Jennifer's tigers are, how they are or how they are created by her through the words of Adrian Rich. Aunt Jennifer's tiger prance across screen. The tigers which are created by Aunt Jennifer, it is knitted actually. It is designed which are prancing. What is the meaning of prancing? It is jumping upward across the screen, across the screen in the sense the panel or the canvas where she is doing this knitting work, it is coming out of the screen or the panel. Bright topaz denizens. So here the tigers are said to be bright topaz. Denizens is they are living of the world of green. So they are bright topaz. Topaz is one of the gem. What will be somewhat yellow in color. Instead of telling that the tiger is looking like a topaz, they are calling the tiger to be a bright topaz. So here it is a metaphor. And these topaz, that is these tigers are living in the world of green. It refers to the jungle, the forest. They do not fear the men beneath the tree. So here it is given that they are free inhabitants. They can move freely wherever they want in the green forest. But they are not scared of the man who is standing beneath the tree. This is just opposite of her lifestyle. Okay, she could not able to move freely. She is scared of the men and she is creating the tigers which are not afraid of men. They pace in sleek chivalric certainty. They are moving gently, elegantly, with confidence. Sleek as evidence, elegant, chivalric as brave enough, 
certainty as with confidence. So, they are moving without having any fear whereas, Aunt Jennifer is having fear to do that, she is having fear for men and that is why she is creating a tiger which is with full of freedom. Aunt Jennifer's fingers fluttering through her wool. So, when she is doing this knitting, her hands are shaking. She could not able to move her hands as she wish. Find even the ivory needle hard to pull. It is very difficult for her to pull the ivory needle. Ivory needle is uh, obviously of less in weight. Okay, and she is doing the knitting work with wool. You can imagine uh, what could be the weight of these ivory needle and wool. It is difficult for her even to pull the needle with a wool. So, what prevents her from doing it or what is the strain she has, why she is finding difficulty in doing it? The reason is this, the massive weight of uncle's wedding band, the wedding band refers to the marriage ring at the time of marriage they will have a ring. So, the massive weight, massive is a heavy weight, enormous weight. So, the wedding ring seems to be so heavy which is sitting on her hand, sits heavily upon Aunt Jennifer's hand. It is not the weight of the marriage ring is that the responsibilities what this aunt as possessing because of married life that burdens her so much that she could not able to pull even the ivory needle. It is not about the weight of the wedding ring, it is the oppression, the responsibilities what she possesses as a married woman that burdens her. Okay, that is a reality of Aunt Jennifer's life. Okay, she is the one who is glorifying the tiger. On other hand, we can also think like this that she is responsible for the tiger to move freely. That is as a woman behind, she guides her husband, she makes her husband uh, to be free enough, to glorify enough. How she glorifies makes the tiger to get glorified. She might be doing it, but she is burdened with. When aunt is dead, her terrified hands will lie still ringed with ordeals she was mastered by. So, here in the final stanza, what Adrian Rich is telling us? Even death will not help such people to escape from this. Okay, she may not be released even by death. Though she dies, she will be possessing okay, the oppressions, the struggles, what she has undergone. So, that is what is given here, still ringed with ordeals. Though she is dead, though she is no more, her hands, terrified hands, yes, the hands will be still wearing the suffering. So, what she has undergone throughout her lifetime, that is what is given here as mastered by, ruled by. The tiger in the panel that she made will go on prancing, proud and unafraid. But the tiger, what is created by Aunt Jennifer will be eternal, will, will not have an end. It will not have death and they will be proud and they will be unafraid. When you take the women who are creating such tigers, obviously, 
shows or explicits their sufferings even they die so what is the possible solution for such problem as it is there in the hands of women they have to break the fetters what ties them okay it can be the rules what is formed by the society okay it is not a boon to suffer actually it's a curse to suffer like this we should not keep on longing for freedom okay we have to be unafraid like the tigers so it is no use in lamenting talking about the chavanastic society rather than taking some initiative in coming out of this ordeals yes it lies in the hands of women how to make their life or how to design their life by themselves if it is possible for them to create unafraid tigers it will be possible for them to design their own life too i hope this is helpful for you thank you